Renee, talk me through what happened on Tuesday night. It wasn't a performance that you were proud of, that the players were proud of. And going out of the FA Cup isn't something that you wanted to happen. So, so what happened? What went wrong? It's very hard sometimes to, to put a finger on that, Sarah, because I am 100% believed that there's not one player, not one player that I've ever worked with, including all the players at Fulham, that go out on the pitch and say to themselves, let's play as badly as we can. But we all know, sometimes in football, that goes, you've got teams that have momentum, everything flows, it just falls in, it's nicely, and you have games that, that the momentum isn't there, and it just doesn't come. It's like you're dragging yourself, and that was happening. And I think it has been a little bit of a, a little bit of a, you know, um, a follow-up from the recent games that we've had where we should have gone in front, we should have got something out of the game. Winning, losing becomes a habit. Winning becomes a habit. Um... Yeah, but it can, it can be, but that's the, where the danger is. That's where you need to make sure that you really, really sharpen this and don't let that happen. That's when you really need to make sure that you say to a player, oh, whoa, whoa, let's wait here. Let's, let's reassure ourselves that what are the good things that we've been producing, right? Why haven't we got to this situation? It's because we haven't done as well as we can in certain areas, which is we should have taken chances better. You know, if you get your noses in front, that's what it is. Goals changes games, but also goals changes mindsets. It creates confidence, or it, you know, it takes confidence away. And that I think was a little bit of illustrative what you saw on Tuesday. That we've picked up a few uh, knocks recently, and you know what I mean. And that transferred into that game, and um, you know, which, well, like you said, it was, it was uh, not a good performance. They don't get any easier. Old Trafford away Sunday afternoon. What are you looking for there? Is it? I mean, we talked about a response after the Southampton game. What, what is it at Old Trafford that you are going to try and do and change to stop the slide in Fulham's form? I strongly believe, Sarah, that every human being, when they're really, really put to the test, they have got a system within themselves to raise, raise themselves up and rise to the challenge. Every, every sports person has that. Every footballer has that. That's the position where we're in. That's why sometimes challenges like Manchester United are the right ones to have, right? I'm telling you now, the players that I've seen on this training pitch, on the Wednesday, on the Thursday, and today, where we are preparing for that Manchester United game, they will be 100% lift themselves up right above because every human being has also a level of uh, humility, you know, uh, when they when they faced, you know, an embarrassment, whatever, that's when you want to make sure you stand up for what you really are. So I'm 100% sure that from that point of view, we're going to see, you know, 11 players that really, really going to perform to the maximum uh, and get the best possible result for Fulham. You made a number of changes on Tuesday evening to the squad. What, what can we expect to see at Old Trafford? I know that some of the players weren't available for you. Mm. Do you think, will there be an, a number of changes again? Is that something that you're looking to do? It is quite, quite possible because it would be silly for me that if you bring, you know, good new players in and you wouldn't utilise them. Um, the most important thing I'm looking for is, is three things really and that's what I try to instil in this group now. We need energy, we need quality, we need commitment. And that, that together, that needs to breathe it needs to be the backbone of the performance. And uh, and I'm sure that the team that will walk out on, on Old Trafford on Sunday will have that. And in terms of the character, the new guys around seem to have really lifted spirits. The mood seems to be lightened slightly from all the pressure that, that was... The good thing, Sarah, is that these guys have not really uh, been affected by, you know, because if you get into that sort of a, a spiral of hard work great performances, don't get out for what you, what you really deserve, you get on with it, and it, it does, they haven't had that. So they come in bright, they come in with full of energy, you know, they come with their own experiences. Goals have been lacking, and obviously those missed chances are the things that have ended up with Fulham going behind in games. How close is Costas? I know he's not 100% fit, and, mm. and how are you feeling in terms of the strike force you have? It is, uh, it is obviously uh, a decision I, I have to look into with because we have to be careful with, uh, with Costas and we need to make sure that we create the best possible pathway 
you know, to get him to perform at his best uh, when he's called upon. And we do know that he's uh, he's, he's obviously had a, a little injury before. He played some games, obviously coming um, because that had been of a setback with regards to games and training. So we need to condition him to making sure he gets up to speed. Because as we know, the Premier League is just a very, very intense, intense league. But what I've seen so far, um, you know, in training is uh, is very promising. And you two games before there's a there's a weekend off, so presumably there's a, a period of time for him to be able to attain that kind of level. Absolutely, of it, is, it is it is uh, in some ways, you know, um, the fact that we got knocked out of the FA Cup uh, in that respect gives us another benefit with regards to then, the you know, training schedule and exactly and prepare for the next important exactly. home games. Absolutely. It's a big challenge. You feel you can do it. We're all 100% behind you in terms of being able to do it. Yeah. Confident? Absolutely. Listen, that confidence is not at all, Sarah, at all. I'm even more confident. And it might sound strange because I've always believed that Fulham has too far too much quality to be in a position we're in. We've added energy and quality. So we're going to have better chances without a shadow of a doubt. It's just that at the moment, you know, that we're looking in and we're staring at that position where we are. We've got 14 games to go, a lot of points to play for, you know, and I'm sure we, we're going to turn it around. We're with you. We wish you luck on Thank you.